morning, good morning. Woo! Where are my 3 a.m.ers? Because you all know that we got to get up, wake it up, wake it up, wake it up, and get it in. As you can see, the sun is just about to peek out at Miss Aurora. Now, I wanted to make this small public service announcement as we start this day. I want to know what is going on with the U.S. Coin Task Force. I thought that, remember we talked about the coins, the mysterious missing coins in the United States? Okay. Why is it that now Chick-fil-A is offering a $10 bill and a coupon for a free entree for every $10 in coins that you bring in? And they are saying that you can get up to 10 coupons for a free entree with your $10 in coins. Okay, now the U.S. Mint is asking the fine residents of the United States to bring all of their coins to coin kiosks. Kiosk. <laughs> okay, bring your coins to the coin kiosks <laughs> so that we can accumulate some coins. Here's the question that Miss Aurora has for all of the secure entrepreneurs. Are you really hiding coins in your homes? How many people are hiding coins in their homes? I'm not really sure. And the reason why Miss Aurora is asking, and I want all of you to comment below and let me know, because uh, Chick-fil-A is asking people to do this. Now, they just had a thing in uh, one of the Chick-fil-A's in Lynchburg, Virginia. As a matter of fact, today did something between the hours of 9 and 11 or 9 and 12, I believe. Okay, where they were doing the whole $10 bill with the, $10, the coupon for a free entree for every $10 in coins that you bought. Because they said, help Chick-fil-A not become a cashless uh, business. They don't want Chick-fil-A to become cashless. Now, when I read that, I said, that is a large message. And so many people will overlook that. They are making a true stand in stating they don't want Chick-fil-A to become a cashless business. Are we becoming a cashless society? And if so, what is the next move? Now, a lot of these secured entrepreneurs, and you know I read all of your emails, okay? Did I introduce myself? You all know that I am Miss Aurora, okay? And this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. <laughs> okay, here's where I'm going with this. As secured entrepreneurs who are out here with very lucrative businesses, we are all running six and seven figure businesses. If you are watching this video and you are not, you have not hit those numbers, you need to go down. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the links below, get on Mr. Roar's calendar. We're going to solve your issue, whatever the issues are, okay? Now, I'm asking this question as it relates to this being cashless and why Chick-fil-A is saying, help them not become a cashless business. Now, most of us are using debit cards, credit cards, okay? That, that, that is correct. And because we have a society that has moved us there as, as it relates to uh, being digital and, you know, having carrying plastic, and then we went from carrying plastic, just a plain plastic card, to a plastic card with a little chip in it, okay? And we still have uh, ATM machines where we can stick those debit cards as well as those credit cards and receive some cash back. All right, Miss Aurora has never gotten coins out of the ATM machine. However, what Miss Aurora knows is that she has a lot of old school clients. Now I'm talking, we'll write a check and send it to the mail. We'll get a cashier's check from the bank and send it to the mail. We'll roll nickels, quarters, dimes, pennies with grandchildren and great-grandchildren and take them into the financial institutions and have the child give the coins to the teller and then the teller gives them back the bills and the child is all excited and all this stuff like this. So we are um, circulating these coins, okay? Here's, here's where I'm going with this, secured entrepreneurs. You have to, all of you who are doing brick and mortar, you know what Chick-fil-A is saying. 
they're saying a large part of you know what makes up our sales and all of this are people who have the ability to walk in from the street with cash okay now if you take that component away from the business you're hurting the business because we do have a large part of society that is not uh, financially savvy that is not um, uh, uh, banking sophisticated they don't have checking accounts they don't have savings accounts which is why they don't have a stimulus check to this moment because they have no way to receive money digitally okay and then we have a large part of society senior people okay even young people who do not trust banks okay they, they, they and they don't want to be involved in it they don't like fees i can't tell you the countless people who say that they're in business and they're like uh i'm only accepting cash They'll tell you they're only accepting cash. I've rolled up on uh, dog groomers who said, well, we don't have a merchant account. We don't want one. We don't have a banking uh, situation. We, we will only accept cash. Now, I don't know how you call yourself in business if you only accept cash, but that is something that used to be that you, you could only pay cash because we didn't really have a digital system. Okay. So I want all the secured entrepreneurs to let Miss Aurora know what you think is really going to go on if in fact you are brick and mortar, okay, and a large part of your sales each month have to do with people who have the ability to walk in on the street from the street and enjoy whatever it is that you're selling because they 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 only have cash. And if you are out here saying that you are in business and you only accept cash, well, then we know that, that there's there's an error. And you need to go down and click the links below and get with Mr. Aurora so we can help you out. Because that's just, let's talk about where we're going, okay? And, there, and, and we are being told that the coinlessness has to do with the pandemic, okay? Is this going to clear up? What is really, you know what I'm saying? Let Mr. Aurora know. So... You all know that you can continue to email me at info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. I realize that, you know, we've gotten a lot of calls, but it's, it's more convenient. It's faster if you would to just please email us. And if you want to have a conversation with Miss Aurora, get on the calendar. Let Jessica uh, put you on the calendar or click the links below for your power hour. And we're going to get you straight. All right. So you can find me at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.